This is Gadget Stop 321. In today's video, I'm taking a look at two of the best values in fountain pens that happen to be less than $5. The Pilot Petite One Mini Fountain Pen and the Platinum Preppy. Now, these are two of the most inexpensive fountain pens that are available, but they are also some of the best writing and most reliable fountain pens as well. Now, the Preppy is more of a traditional size pen, traditional looking and traditional sized. It's a demonstrator pen. It has a snap cap and it pushes to post. It posts very deeply and securely and it makes a nicely proportioned pen. The uh, section is very comfortable, a comfortable size. And this these pens come in a variety of colors. I've got the crystal version that's just a pure demonstrator, but they also come in a variety of translucent colors. Now the other colors will have a translucent colored barrel and the cap, uh, the very top of the cap and the clip will match the color of the barrel and the ink that comes with the colored versions will match the color of the pen as well as the feed will match the color of the pen and the ink. Now, this has a, a plain but nice looking nib. It matches the aesthetic of the pen. Uh, the preppy runs anywhere from four to five dollars. The crystal version is was five dollars when I got it and it only comes in a fine nib size. Now all the other colors come in an extra fine, fine and medium. The extra fine is five dollars. The fine and medium are all four dollars. Now it's a cartridge converter pen. It comes with one ink cartridge. The ink cartridge matches the color of the pen. If you get the crystal, it's going to be a black ink cartridge. Now you can get a converter, a platinum converter, but it will run about eight dollars. So that's almost twice as, or it is twice as much as the pen itself. Now the converter is convenient, but it's not absolutely necessary. If you want to use um, bottled ink, which that gives you a lot of more, a lot more uh, options for ink colors and different brands you can use, it would be good to invest in an ink syringe. And when you use up your ink cartridge, you can just refill it with an ink syringe using bottled ink. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the ink cartridge in this one. I've used this one before. I and I used the converter and used some of my bottled ink. The ink cartridges are proprietary. You have to use platinum ink cartridges. You can't use standard international. It's got a little metal ball sealing it. Let me see. I'm gonna okay. And now you can see the ink starting to run down into the feed. Okay. And that little metal ball acts as an agitator for the ink. There we go. Okay, I've got that one started. I'll do a writing sample in a minute. One of the things I want to mention is uh, the cap has an insert, a spring-loaded insert that keeps the nib sealed up when the cap is on and will keep your ink from drying out. So that is a, a nice feature for such an inexpensive little pen. The next pen I'm going to look at is the Pilot Petite One. 
This is a pocket demonstrator. Now, this one also comes in a variety of colors, and the color of the ink will match the color of the body in the clip. This is a snap cap as well. It's got a nice sized, I'm going to move this over. It's got a nice sized grip section. I think the grip section is a little bit larger than the one in the preppy. It's a little bit short since it's a pocket pen. It's a little bit short to use unposted, but this posts very securely if you listen. It snaps on there nicely and makes a very comfortable sized pen. Now this one is, the petite one is cartridge only. It's so small that it's not going to fit a converter. It uses proprietary ink cartridges as well and you can't just use any Pilot ink cartridges, even though the opening is matches other Pilot cartridges. It has to be these little short ones. And you can get these petite ink cartridges in a little tube of three. It's $1.90 for a tube of three. Now, I can't remember if I mentioned, the petite one is... $3.80 and it only comes in the fine nib size. Now the nib is a little bit more traditionally shaped but still very plain and the ink cartridge that comes with it has this little seal on it to keep it from getting punctured in transit so you have to make sure you remove that. Oh and one thing I wanted to show you is the, the feed is clear, and there's a wick that w runs from the cartridge up to the nib. There's a little, I'm not sure what it's made out of, cotton or some kind of material. So there's a wick that runs through the feed. Now, I've bought these pens for students of mine. Let's see, you can see it. The ink going through that wick up through the clear feed. I bought these as presents for some students of mine, and they really thought that was cool. In fact, I, I think it's pretty cool. And so I've, I've never technically used one of these myself. I tested theirs but this is the first time I've ever inked mine up. And let's see, that wick got it, got the ink down to the, there. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little writing sample with each of these. I'm gonna use my Lehigh Lab notebook that I showed in one of my previous videos. Now the paper in here is not fountain pen friendly, but I punched a sheet of Rhodia paper, which is very fountain pen friendly, and I'll use that for my writing sample. Let's see. I'm going to try the petite one first. Make sure I'm focused. I like this dark blue ink. And that fine nib is just a nice sized fine nib. Let's see. The nib has feedback, but it's not scratchy at all. It's very comfortable. It's a comfortable size. It's very lightweight. Very comfortable pen to use. 
nice size. I would compare this to, let's see, a pen I've been using this week, the Caveco Skyline Sport. Very similar in size. Um, the only thing you might want to watch out for is the clip. Feels a little bit fragile. I know uh, the people in my family are hard on clips. Most of them, a clip won't survive. So if you're someone that tends to break off clips, you might want to watch out for that. But other than that, it's a very, feels like a sturdy, well-made pen. Very comfortable to use. Now the Preppy. Has a, let's see, yeah, this one's a fine nib as well. We'll see how the Pilot fine nib compares, or yeah, how the Pilot fine nib compares to the Platinum. Very similar. very comfortable. So if you want a more traditional sized pen, and this one, the clip feels a little more sturdy, or it is a little more sturdy. If you want a more traditional sized pen, this might be the way you want to go. Let me see. These were very similar. The Platinum may be a little bit smoother. Let me see. Ah, oh, it's hard to tell the difference. Very similar writing experience. Um, so, if you're having trouble deciding which one you might want to give a try, you can get both of these for less than $10. So you could get both of them and have the petite one if you needed a pocket pen. Use your preppy and a journal or a planner. Uh, they're both great pens. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.